What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute total body strength circuit workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. Welcome to your 30 minute strength circuit workout. I'm so excited to have you here today. Know that I'm using my dumbbells today and my glute resistance bands, but if you don't have your glute resistance bands, you can always either grab them in the description below or they're not mandatory. It's just something I like to include to make my workouts a little bit more spicy. So if you're interested, you can grab them in the description below. Um, for dumbbells, I'm using 10, 15, 20, and 30 pound dumbbells. If you're new to the channel, I always suggest when we use dumbbells to have at least two options, a lighter and a heavier option. For the heavier option today for myself, I'm gonna be using those dumbbells for squats and Romanian deadlifts, so a hinging motion. So mainly for my leg exercises. And then for the lower weights, we've got lateral raises, we've got tricep extensions, so grab at least two options there, okay? Also make sure you have your water bottle and your sweat towel, and before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel before you head out today so I know that you're using this workout today, all right? All right, big wide stance here. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to crush this workout. We're gonna reach our right hand over top in three, two, one. Here we go, reach it over, pull back into your chest. Good, reach, and you should feel this stretch in your side body, so your obliques, your hips, even over it into your arms. Three, two, last one, come up and switch to the other side. Here we go. Good, if you're just waking up, this one might feel really good. Or if you're winding down from a day of work at home or at the office where you've been sitting a lot or driving a lot, should feel really good as well. One more, good, hands right on your hips. We're gonna push them forwards and backwards. So let's get the hinge motion here. Good. I want you to feel it in your hamstrings on the way back, back here, and then in your hip flexors when you push forward. A gentle push forward. Good, last one, meet me up top. And come right here, reaching towards the floor. Come up and open your arms to the ceiling. Good job. Keep the chest up, sit your butt back and down. No impact today, so we're just doing moves where we're gonna stay on the floor. Okay. One more. Good, come back to the front here, cross your arms over. So we've got, I've broken it down into a circuit style workout, so we've got an, iso, or an isolated move, and another isolated move, and then we're gonna combine those two. And we've got two rounds of that. Backward circles. So for instance, our first move is gonna be a squat. Second move is a bicep curl. Third move is a squat and curl. So we're gonna combine them, and then we'll start back at the top, switch directions, and do it one more time through. Two, one, good. Pull your heels to your glutes. Let's stretch our quads out a little bit. So as you can see, this workout will work for everyone. Depends on the weight that you want to use, depends on how fast you want to move from exercise to exercise or in between your reps, okay? We got this, we're in it together. Three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and grab our squat weights. If you're throwing a resistance band on your thighs, you can go ahead and grab that, okay? And I'm gonna have one dumbbell right up at my chest. Feel free to also use two dumbbells if you would like, just hanging down by your side or holding them right at your chest, okay? We're gonna go in three, right here. Two, one, let's go. So we're right here for 45 seconds today. I wanna get as much time under tension as I can, meaning to increase the intensity, try not to spend too much time up here resting. Keep your knees right over your second toes. Good job. Core is tight, butt is low, chest is high. And we're gonna crush this workout together. You got 12 more seconds right here. And then we've got 15 seconds rest. And we'll move into bicep curls. Four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, bicep curls. 
right, so we're right here, coming left, and then right, okay? Three, two, one, all right, let's go. 45 seconds right here. Advance the intensity by going two at a time, or slow it down, and go one at a time, okay? Every rep, exhale. Great job. Try to notice if your chest tends to fall forward when you drop your dumbbells. Keep it nice and tall. Good job, you've got 12, 11. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, I want you to keep your dumbbells that you're using right now. We're gonna combine our last two, okay? So you're gonna sit and squat, come up, curl. Okay, squat, curl. Or you can go here in the middle, squat and curl, all right? Ready? Let's go. And if you need to slow this down, feel free to just do a squat and give me one curl or drop the weight down. If you wanna make it a little tougher, feel free to curl at the bottom and at the top. Here we go, 20 more seconds. You're doing great. Beautiful, 10, nine, Four, three, one last rep. Two, one, rest. And we're back to just the squat, okay? So everything you just did, one more time through. 45 seconds of squat in five, four. Here we go, two, one, sit it down. Keep your chest up. See if you can spend less time up top here, resting. Good job. Breathe, I know you can hear me breathing as well. Or at least I think I'm breathing kind of loud. <laughs> Stay breathing. Let's go for nine, eight, Come on, come on. Three, two, one. Great job, rest. And we're going back into just bicep curls. All right, so think about, can you step the weight up from last time? If you think so, go ahead and grab it. All right, ready? Let's go. You can go one arm at a time or two. Either way, I want you to feel the control on the way down as well. So don't get it up here and drop, okay? Good job. 14, 13, come on. We're getting stronger today. You and me, our whole team, the whole community here. Let's go, four, three, two, one, rest. You remember the last move. Combine the two. All right, squat and curl. Woo. All right, here we go, five seconds. Three, big deep breath. Two, one, let's get it. Woo. Good, keep your chest up on the curl. Make sure you're not diving forward with your chest. Good work, almost there, and then we take a break. Beautiful, you've got 12, 11. Give me 10 more seconds of this full body move. Four, three, two, one. Amazing job. You've got 30 seconds to grab some water. I'm gonna do the same. 
All right. We're starting off our next move, lateral raise. Okay, so in about 12 seconds, we're coming here to the side, straight out to the side, okay? Two arms at the same time or alternate one like I did, okay? Two, one, let's do it. Keep your elbows just slightly bent. Okay, so you don't need to lock your elbows out. Elbows are a little rounded and your chest and your hips stay forward. The reason I'd say that is because sometimes I'll catch myself shifting. So I know what might be happening. Great work. We've got 15 seconds. If you can go double time, let's go together. Try not to sway your hips back and forth to help you really isolate that shoulder. Three, two, one. Great job. Now our next move is gonna be a curtsy lunge. Okay, we're alternating side to side. So you're kicking your foot back, diagonal. Sit down, bend both legs, and switch, okay? If you need to modify, no dumbbell or just a regular lunge, okay? Let's go. Same thing here, try to keep yourself down in the lunge as much as you can versus up tall here, swinging, getting ready where your legs aren't doing any work. Good job. 15 more seconds. Yes, there we go, 10, nine. Four, three, two, one. Now we're combining the two. So grab your lighter dumbbells. Okay, two options here. You can go down and lift as you sit, or you can lift up top and then sit. Okay, your choice. Let's go in two, one. Here we go. And if you're lifting as you sit, make sure you're not keeping your back leg straight. Okay, you're still sitting down in both legs. There we go, focus on your form. If this is too much to combine them, start here and go lunge. That's totally fine, okay? I'm meeting you right where you are today. Whew. Whew. There we go, 10 seconds. Yes, shoulders. Ah, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, drop those dumbbells for a second. Shake it out. Whew. Lateral raises, one last time. If you need to go one at a time, I get it. <laughs> I understand. Let's go together. Two, one, here we go. Breathe, this is your, your exercise to kind of catch your breath in the circuit of three. Challenge yourself to notice your core. Is it shifting as you lift? If so, keep it tight by bending your knees just a little bit. You'll see my legs aren't locked. They're softly bent. That allows me to engage my core and know that I'm not using momentum like that. Okay, 10 more seconds. We got this. Good, four, three. Give me one more rep, two, one. Rest, and we're back to just curtsy lunge, okay? You doing all right? You're doing great, I'm proud of you. All right, we're all pushing ourselves. I'm out of breath, you might be out of breath. I just hope you feel good today after this workout's done. Two, one, just curtsy lunges right here. Good, sit in that front heel, trust your front leg, trust your front glute to get you up and out of there. Use your core, so make sure you're not twisting, okay? You're sitting with a slight diagonal dip with your back leg. The core is still always in control. 15 more seconds. Eight, 
seven. You're doing fantastic. Come on. Four, three. Last one, rest. Good, last one, combo. Are you ready? Woo. Shake it out. Remember, you can do it at the bottom or at the top. Well, let's do it together. Three, two, one, let's go. Another option to step it up, maybe just do one arm at the bottom, opposite of your front leg, okay? Like I said, I'm meeting you where you are today. We're getting strong together. The only expectation that I have is for you to work hard with me. Not to match me, not to say, hey, I'm doing heavier weights than her, or lighter weights are the same. You just work hard. I'm doing the same thing as you. Working hard. 15. Perfect, come on. Nine. Two, one, rest, and you've got 30 seconds rest to grab some water, to be proud of yourself. Real quick, nice work. Whew. All right, Romanian deadlift and high row. All right, so I'm gonna grab my dumbbells here. We're gonna start with just the high row, okay? One at a time, drawing it right up towards your shoulder. Ready? Grab those dumbbells, let's go in two, one. Here we go, just the high row. If you wanna do both at the same time, totally fine. Also be aware that you just crushed your shoulders in that previous circuit, okay? So be mindful. It's a different angle that we're hitting here on your shoulders, but also know I want effective reps. I want good quality reps. Where you feel the muscle lift, you feel the muscle control back down. 10 more seconds, and we're gonna do just Romanian deadlifts after this. Woo, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, so just deadlifts. That means hips are going backwards, okay? Feet are just about hip width apart, shoulder blades are back, and drawn into the middle of your spine. Here, and squeeze at the top. Ready? Let's go together. Good. No need to rush here. I just want you to feel your heel, heels dig into the floor. Great work, woo, 15, 14. Four, three, two, one, rest. Woo. Now we're gonna combine the two. So you're hinging and then you're drawing up at the top. If you're doing two arms, you come here. If you're doing one, here, down, here. Just switch every time, okay? I'm gonna go down just a little bit. All right, ready? Let's do it. One high row at a time. And then go back down, then switch. Squeeze those glutes. Great job, I'm with you, 15. This is a tough one, I know, lots of grip strength. Woo, seven, six. Two, one, perfect job. Shake your hands out, think about flicking water off your fingers. I know you're holding dumbbells for a good long time on this one. Next one will be better, but we got one more round through. Let's start back with the high rows. You can do this, I know you can. I'm with you. Two, one, just high rows. Totally okay to watch your muscles, by the way. Make sure your form is fine. Make sure you can feel mind-muscle connection. The right one is working. Good 
Great job. Last 15, right here, let's go. And then we're actually going to sit down after this circuit, after we finish it. Hit some abs and triceps. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job, just deadlifts now, okay? Only using the hamstrings and the glutes. Whew. You're doing fantastic. You wanna stay there on that weight, that's fine. You wanna go up, go down. Good reps is the goal, okay? Ready? Let's go. Last time through, just deadlifts. Good work. Make sure when you get to the bottom, you're not overarching your back or rounding it this way, okay? It should be neutral from head to tailbone. And you don't have to go to the floor. You go to mid-calf, and you feel your flexibility is good right there. Stop right there. Engage your glutes. Come right back up like you're tucking your tailbone under your hips. Four, three, two, one, drop those dumbbells, shake your hands out. We're gonna combine the two for one last round. I know, grip strength is something just like any other muscle group in your hands. Those muscles have to get stronger too. So, that could be a goal for you. It's a goal for myself as well. Last round, deadlift and row. Let's do it. Just one, and then go back. You're doing great, come on. Woo. Squeeze those glutes together. You got 13, 12, 10 more seconds. Finish strong right here, come on. Five, four, two, one. 30 seconds rest, I'm so proud of you. Your last exercise is gonna be with one of your lighter pairs of dumbbells, okay? We're isolating the triceps and the abs, okay? So we're gonna lay down. I have to use the sweat towel so I'm not sliding all over the mat. <laughs> Anyone else relate? Start sliding around on your back. Okay, so dumbbells are gonna start right over your shoulders. You're gonna shift them back just a little bit. Bend, extend. Okay, ready? We'll go in two, one, here we go. Push them back, bend and extend. Another option here is to just use one dumbbell. If you feel unstable in your shoulders or your elbows and things are kind of rocking around, grab onto it with two hands, bend and straight, okay? Either way, let's rock those triceps, come on. You're gonna get more out of them if instead of bringing them all the way back over your chest, you leave them right back here over your head, right over your forehead. In that instance, when you bring them up, triceps are still working. You can probably feel them shaking. <laughs> Two, one, rest. Now, you're gonna leave the dumbbells right here. Flatten your feet out, two options. Sit up, shoot your head through the middle, or dumbbells down, sit up, shoot your head through the middle. Or just give me a crunch if you're right here today. Okay, ready? Let's go. Weighted sit up or non-weighted. I want you to feel the control. To step this up, barely tap your lower back down, lift off again. You're doing great. Exhale when you come up. Ten, nine. Good job, we're right there. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna combine the two. Watch closely. I'm bending here. Bend, straighten, pull it back up, sit up. Come down with control, bend, straighten, okay? Woo, let's go in three, two, one. All right, triceps first. Bend. Sit 
Same thing if you're doing with just one dumbbell. Bend, straighten, shift them up and sit up. Good job, guys. You look good. I see you working hard. I feel it. I know you're there working hard, breathing heavy, because you deserve this. All right, if that could be one thing I teach you this year, you deserve to feel strong. Come on, six more seconds, let's go. Two, one, beautiful job. Dumbbells down, rest your hands for a second. We're starting back with just the triceps. Woo. Doing okay? One last round of all three and we've made it. So work hard here for me, okay? Three, two, one, triceps, let's go. And I should say, not work hard for me, work hard for you. You're the one that deserves this. You're showing up. I want you to feel the results of your hard work this year. I know I've got your back all the way. Keep your wrists strong. Good job, 12 seconds. Woo! Come on, come on. We've got seven, six, five. Push, 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 two, one. Yes, beautiful. All right, just sit-ups. Okay, just pushing your head right through your arms on sit-ups. Okay, if you wanna step it up, you can. I'm here for it, but I'm here for good form first. Ready, let's go. Let's go, exhale, lift. Think about pulling your abs into your spine, pulling your ribs down to the floor, and lifting off. You're in total control here. We're getting stronger today, guys. Fifteen, fourteen, come on. That's it, four, three, two, one. Good job, now you're combining the two. Can you stay heavier, can you go a little lighter? Whatever you need to do to make sure the tricep and the abs work good, feel the burn, let's go there, okay? Last 45 seconds of our workout, we're crushing it together in two, one, here we go. Good job. <sighs> 20 seconds. Stay strong. Stay focused on stabilizing. Shoulders are strong. Triceps are strong. Abs are strong. Trust them. <sighs> Let's go. Eight. Seven. One more round through, three, two, one. Finish up top with me here. Drop those dumbbells down to your sides and you have made it to your cool down. Nice work today. Go ahead and lay it back on your back since we're already here. I want you to extend that heel up to the ceiling. Grab onto your quad or your hamstring. Grab one a little higher if you can, but I just want you to pull your legs back. Keep this other leg nice and flat, nice and straight. So make sure it's not here and bent. It's flat on the floor. Reach as high as you can on your leg and pull back towards your chest. I want you to feel this right in your hamstrings. Good job, take that leg and bend it. Bring your other leg up and put it right on your ankle and push that leg towards your chest. You can grab this back leg if you need to and pull. You'll find, if you're new here, I'm very big on mobility, functioning well by moving well, which involves mobility, flexibility. Okay, so if you're in the Sydney squad, you will see some extra challenges this month with live stretches with me in there. Go ahead and switch legs. All right, so opposite leg is up straight, pull back towards your chest. All right, you've gotta be able to move well. Your muscles can't be tight because it can just ricochet all the way through the body. Everything is connected. 
Okay, so if you're feeling pain in your back, it might even be all the way down to your calves where the actual tightness is. For that reason, I am such a big fan of stretching, mobility, recovery days. Go ahead and bend this leg. Push it up with your opposite leg. All right, and it just, it's, there are nothing but benefits from working on your flexibility. You're gonna feel better, your blood's gonna flow better, you're gonna have a lower risk of injury, you're gonna sleep better, you're gonna work out better, you're gonna feel better mentally as well, okay? All right, release that leg. Let's go ahead and flip over onto your stomach, okay? Drop your hips down for me, look up. Be proud of yourself for just a quick second. If you can soak this moment in, <sighs> I did this for me today, all right? Those are things I want you to think about. This is something I did positive for myself today. Be proud of this moment. Don't take it for granted. Don't think, okay, I did a workout, but I still want to work out for 100 days straight. One day at a time. One step in your goals at a time. It won't happen all at once. It will happen with consistency. Tuck your toes down. Lift your hips up for me. And walk your hands back to your feet. Slowly roll it up, okay? You gotta be proud of accomplishing the little things along the way that get you to the big goals, okay? Nothing that is going to stay around for a while or that is sustainable is going to come like this and stay, okay? Of course you can lose weight quickly. I could just tell you to stop eating and you would lose weight quickly. That's not what I want for you and that's never, ever what I want for you or what I would say to you. Go ahead and switch legs. What I want for you is to establish habits that you can keep forever, to be able to sustain your health forever to be around for a long time, okay? To feel strong, to move well, to eat in a way that gives you energy, in a way that gets you closer to your goals. Cross your hands over your chest, okay? Those are the hard things, all right? It's hard to consistently do these things, but focus on one day at a time and you will attain consistency, okay? Be proud of choosing this meal over this meal because you know this one makes you feel better, okay? Shake your hips out from side to side for me. Be proud of the choices that you make throughout the day and do them because you know that they make you happy, that you know that they motivate you to keep doing those things. That's the biggest thing for me when I feel that I've eaten well for a couple days in a row and it makes me feel proud of myself. It makes me believe that I can do it, okay? Because sometimes it's hard. You let things get into your head. I really want this. I'm really used to drinking. I'm really used to eating brownies. Your habits, what's normal, what's surrounding you, those things will tempt you forever, okay? So know that it's not just you. You're not weak, you're not weak-minded. If habits have been in place for a while, they're tough to break, but they're not impossible, okay? So know it's all right here. Everything that you want, every action that you take to get to the things that you want, it's all right here, okay? Know that, I believe in you. I know your physical body can do these workouts. I know you physically know how to eat. It's all right here. It's a decision that you make with yourself Hey, I know this isn't easy. Hey, I know normally I would go out for drinks or normally I would eat four brownies, okay? Brownies are great, absolutely. I'm not saying to not ever enjoy anything in your life, but I'm saying when you're working on consistency and you're working on making better choices, it's all right here, okay? And your mind controls everything. So make sure you trust in your own thoughts, your own dedication, your own promise that you're making to yourself this year. I promise you, Sydney, that I will treat you great because I will eat well. I will stretch, I will hydrate, I will get sleep, and I'll remember that my goals are my goals for a reason. I believe in them, I want them for myself, okay? So do the things that you know you wanna do leading into this year. Celebrate the things that you do well along the way, okay? Celebrating accomplishments keeps you on track, I promise, okay? Celebrate with something that benefits you too. So don't eat well for a week, and then celebrate with a massive weekend of splurging on things that don't make you feel great, okay? Celebrate with maybe a new workout outfit or maybe purchasing the next set of dumbbells, or maybe a nice new yoga mat that you've had your eye on, okay? Celebrate things that keep you on track to keep that lifestyle habit up, okay? I believe in you and I'm here for you always. I'll be here for you every single day. So make sure before you head out today, you give this video a thumbs up if you finished it, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel so I know that you're with me on this journey. I know that you're doing the things that you wanna do to get to your goals, because that's what I want for you. Your goals to be crushed. All right guys, comment below that you crushed it and I will see you tomorrow.